Love is in the air. It's Valentine's Day. Madam Web is out in theaters. I actually just got back from it. What a, uh... Well, I have a review coming out. We'll, we'll just leave it at that. But they also dropped a brand new trailer for Godzilla x Kong The New Empire. What a title. And I was going to react to it. But again, I was at the theater and didn't have time. Thankfully, some people stepped up to the plate and have already done reaction videos. There's about 8 million of them. I decided, why even waste my time? How about instead I just react to the reactors? Uh, so I picked out my buddy Sean Chandler and we're gonna just, we're gonna watch his video, see what he has to say. And I'll just kind of critique it as it goes along. Oh, my headphones are snagged on a cord. <laughs> what a disaster. Let's begin. Busy Valentine's Day morning. They just officially announced the fantastic forecast. And now we have a new trailer for Godzilla X Kong, the I, new empire. And let's do I like this. the um, excitement. I like the energy. He looks a little concerned with what's going on. For centuries. Yep, okay. There was hard. It's a very organic reaction. He's taking a drink of soda. The Titans were the guardians of nature. He's nodding along. He seems to be into this. And the great apes oh. became the protectors of humanity. He's a little curious about what's happening. Okay, he likes this. Eyebrows are raised. Oh, head turns. What's happening? Okay, um, very little reacting from Sean right now. It seems like he's um, trying to stay awake for this trailer. Probably been a long week. I like the, what is that, a creator hat? At first I thought it was a gremlin's hat. It's not accurate. Something is coming. Something he's getting a little surprised. You feel like going for a ride? I almost should have done this reaction without the trailer present at all. It's just Sean <laughs> reacting to nothing. Okay, he's happy. He's smiling. Eyebrows are raised. A little giggle. Is that a mini call? Oh my god. That's not just a signal. That's a call for war. Oh, he's, he seems to be curious. Now you'll notice the dilation of the pupils. His eyes are widening. He's, I think he's on, on board for this film. We're going to find what out though in a little bit. That? Oh, there is that trademark smile we fell in love with. Can't stop this on his own. There's a little bit of itch on the side of the cheek. Oh, there's a giggle. Yep, head nod. He's approving of this. He's now fully approved this trailer. Look at this. Look at the joy. Look at the raw energy. The last time those two met up it was almost the end of calm. They don't have to like each other. What? He got a little, uh, yeah, a little surprise. Kind of a peekaboo scene. Now I have seen everything. What an experience this has been so far. Trailer reactions, I love them. I do them too sometimes, and I, I find that they're just such good content. He's laughing, he's having fun. We're all having fun here. He likes it, he did kind of a pat patty cake on the legs. Alrighty, real quick before I share my thoughts on that one, go ahead and join me down below in the comment section. Let me know what you thought about our new trailer for Godzilla X Kong, the new Empire. Nice call to action. He's and all business I, now, you know, facing I'm you, talking you directly. Movies in this franchise back when subscribe to Sean. Monarchs I like Sean. Well, He's a good guy. Subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe here. Comment up, here. I'm also movie. doing a call to action. Godzilla minus one, which always a massive, massive fan. Let's check um, in. As for this trailer. As for what I want from this franchise, that trailer <laughs> did everything to get me pumped to check. Okay, this he's thing very out. he's into um, it. All as right. As I've said it before, these ones feel kind of like the professional wrestling of Godzilla uh -huh, movies, uh -huh. where they're um, intentionally like big, bombastic, embrace the silliness. Let's have them jump up, high five, tag team gets big Mondo monsters. Let's give them robot arms, augmentations. 
That's what I that, want from this movie. Okay. I'm not taking it particularly seriously. And this trailer got me amped up and all the ways that I want to get amped up. Sean's into it, is the bottom line. He knows what he's getting from this franchise. Uh, I'm going to kind of parse through his dialogue and lay it out fully for you. These movies are dumb as shit. They're, they're really over the top. They're silly. They're stupid. They make no sense. But it's a giant ape and it's a giant prehistoric lizard creature thing. You know, this time they're on a buddy road trip movie teaming up. And uh, that's fine. I thought the last one, whatever it was called even, Godzilla v. Kong or something, I, I did not like that movie. It, it got so dumb, so out there that I just couldn't get on board. I did not react to this trailer because I already know it's going to be even more stupid than the last one. Maybe it'll be fun in a way that will engage me and not just make me check, check the watch because the movie's probably going to be way too long, way overstuffed. We'll see. Let's see what else he has to say, though. Of... Uh epic music well fairly cheesy things are happening on screen um i don't know just this when i talk about taco bell movies uh, movies mm. that are cinematic fast food they might not be good for you but you love to eat them they're very digestible they're a good time when i think about popcorn movies when i think about what i think will make for a great date night with my wife where we will put on our, our matching godzilla and kong t-shirts Actually, That's we'll cute. do it. Probably, we'll certainly do a double date on this one. That we'll bring her Jennifer's friend Sarah, my friend Peter, or a couple that we've been friends with forever. I, I don't care. Join about this, with Sean. them. Keep going. Okay. Watch this insane movie about Titans tearing up the Earth, protecting mm -hmm. the Earth. That trailer gave me what I wanted. Uh, is it fine cinema? No, it is not. Does it look like it will be exploring survivors' guilt or any other thing important themes? No, it not. Sean. Does Chandler still have the sticker on the top of the hat, on the bill there? It looks like there's a sticker or something. I, I don't know what's going on. Maybe that's what the kids are doing. Just a quick note. Uh, I just, that caught my eye. What else has caught my fancy is I really like the look of his show. I've always been a fan of how he presents it. Uh, dig the dig the neon vibe. He's got the, the reds and the blues. Very good job. He's got a great camera. I love the camera. I think it's a Sony. Uh, I'm using my fucking iPhone. No, it is not, but it's not supposed to. It's supposed to deliver absolute chaos and mayhem. That's what this trailer delivered. And so as silly as it looks, I can't wait to check this one out. This is what I hoped that it would be. Um, but it's also having just watched, finished Monarch. Yeah. It's kind of funny. The, how do the, the all these pieces and things fit together of the that they're fleshing out of the mythology, the different tones? I didn't watch Monarch. It's interesting when you try to have a show that had that tone, and then you see this trailer. Very different adaptations. Oh my god! Okay, I wasn't expecting the uh, the abrupt um, end here, Sean. You kind of you me threw me for a loop. Wasn't expecting that, but uh, it was a fine it was a fine reaction. I think it, I like that he's not too over the top with it. It seems genuine. And he probably genuinely likes these movies. I wish I could get on board more. I liked Kong quite a bit. Kong Skull Island, I thought was fantastic. It hit the tone correctly for me. It had that old school monster vibe to it while also kind of bringing it into a modern era. It is, you know, it's a period piece. It doesn't take place in 2023, 2022, but... It still has, the, you know, the technology and everything we take for granted now with great special effects and whatnot. Outside of that, I didn't really, I don't really care about the monster verse. Godzilla, King of the Monsters was decent. That one was decent. But I'm the asshole that ruined the Rotten Tomatoes score for Godzilla minus one. So who cares what I have to say anyways, right? I just have never been that wowed from a Godzilla movie. It's got a massive fan base. They don't have to listen to me. They shouldn't listen to me. I'm a I'm just a movie buff. I like going to a lot of different movies. Some of these characters work, some don't. And for Godzilla, it just hasn't really hit the right balance for me yet. I was hoping we would get more like uh, Kong Skull Island though, and less like the follow-up films. But this one is going full-blown schlock. And I can't say I'm here for it. We'll see what the final product is. Some of the visuals are kind of cool. Obviously, the the explosions and over-the-topness of it's fine. I just, if I'm watching a blockbuster, I, I kind of need a little, just like a tiny bit of reality mixed in once in a while to make it work for me. Or 
maybe shorten the run time up so I don't feel like I'm sitting there for three hours just watching a bunch of CG smashing into each other. All right, those are my thoughts. Let me know yours. Put a comment down below. Sean, hello. Uh, I hope you liked my reaction to your reaction video. I, I do these from time to time. They're fun. I'll do, I'll do more of them down the road when I don't have that much interest in the film. I'll just react to someone else. <laughs> like the video, subscribe to my channel and to his if you haven't already. We, we give a lot of honest opinions here. We have a good time. We love movies and uh, that, that's all there is to it. All right. Hopefully I catch you next time. Take care.